We're joining Wade Middleton on day two of his trip to Sam Rayburn Reservoir. Well, so far, he's had to adapt to the changing weather conditions and switch up which techniques he's using out on the water. There's a huge difference, in my opinion, in a low pressure day and a high pressure day when it comes to the weather. You know, those high pressure days, I talk about it a lot, where you've got a bluebird sky, uh, you know, the sun's real bright, a lot of times there's very little wind. Those tend to be a little bit tougher fishing days when it comes to just getting a lot of bites or getting an aggressive bite, in my opinion. On the flip side of that, you get a low pressure day. You get a kind of an old cloudy day and it's kind of rainy and the wind's blowing a little bit and it's just nasty. It looks like, man, I just want to roll over and go back sleep that's sometimes the best days of all to be able to go fishing because the fish are going to be a little bit more active they tend to be snapping they're going to bite more readily in a lot of situations so yesterday we were able to get out for about an hour i mean uh, the cold front was coming through it was raining it was low pressure and the fish were snapping on a ruku shad in, in the back of a pocket now we're dealing with mostly clear bluebird skies very very little wind uh, so we, we have to, in our mind, as fishermen, think we've got to adjust and adapt just a little bit. Come here, fish. Oh, yeah. You better fish. That's what we're talking about right there. Come here, buddy. That fish ate it good. A little better quality fish right there all the way around. First thing that comes to my mind when I start seeing this uh, type of a condition with a, the high bluebird sky, water temperatures, what they are, is a suspending jerk bait. You know, a suspending jerk bait is phenomenal to be able to throw out, twitch it down, and leave it in the strike zone. And by leaving it in the strike zone, it's a very it's a very subtle thing that allows you to be able to get bites from fish that are otherwise lethargic. Basically, you're teasing them. You're leaving it in the strike zone. Boy, what a light bite. A little suspending jerk bait. A chunky bass right there. This is perfect conditions for suspending jerk bait, really. Water temperatures are not quite to 50. He got all the hooks in there. That's what you like to see. You know, when you're fishing this bait, it's not my preferred style. I'll be the first to, to admit. You know, Mike McClellan can sit there and throw this thing and let it sit and watch the paint dry on his house, whereas I'm more of a fast fisherman. But when you can catch fatties like that, look at the belly on that fish. Makes it fun. 